Good evening, stargazers. My name is Sarah Smith. I will be talking to you about our constellation, Virgo. It is the evening of May 4th, 2015. Virgo is the zodiac's largest constellation. It is second largest constellation in the sky overall after Hydra. Virgo is Latin for virgin. Virgo can be located at the third quadrant in our southern and western hemisphere. Virgo is a very congested constellation. It has many exoplanets surrounding it. Virgo also has seven main stars in its constellation, the brightest being Spica. Spica is sparkling blue white and looks like one star, but actually is two stars, both larger and hotter than our sun. You can find Virgo easily through this star. You can locate Virgo by following the curve of the Big Dipper to Arcturus and continuing from there in the same curve. On ancient maps, the Virgin is usually represented as a woman with wings in a walking attitude. There appears our Virgo. In her left hand, she holds a head of wheat, which is marked by the star Spica. There is a story in Greek mythology about our constellation Virgo. In this myth, Virgo was Persephone, daughter of Zeus and Demeter, goddess of fertility of earth. One spring day, Persephone was kidnapped by the underworld god Hades. Under ancient law of Adobe, if Persephone was to accept food, she would have to stay in the underworld as Hades bride. Persephone had been tricked into eating seeds from a pomegranate from an evil man. When Demeter heard of this she was furious and declared no crops or flowers would ever grow if her daughter became bride of death. Eventually they came to a compromise Persephone would spend six months with Hades for eating those seeds, and the other six months with her mother. During months with Hades, crops and flowers would never grow. Only in the spring, when Persephone had returned to her mother, did those flowers and crops grow again. This myth is why most say Virgo is a springtime constellation. Although you can see most of Virgo's stars year-round, the stars put their best display in the evening sky during spring. <laughs>